I see the world through a different lens. My thoughts are the ones that shape my focus. As a person with albinism, my vision is impaired to some extent. But I'm an athlete and I only focus on my ability to be an athlete. Growing up, I faced many obstacles and misconceptions about albinism. But people assumed I was fragile and capable of achieving greatness. But deep within, I, I knew I had untapped potential waiting to be unleashed. My passion for sports ignited a fire within me. I discovered that playing field didn't care about my lack of pigmentation or impaired vision. It only cared about my determination and the strength of my spirit. My coaches believe in me. They saw beyond my physical limitations and recognized my true potential. They taught me to embrace my uniqueness and turn it into an advantage. Each competition has an opportunity to prove myself to others and to the world, and of course to myself. I knew I had to work harder than anyone else, compensating for my visual impairment with the relentless dedication and, and precision. With persistency, training and daily practice, I have seen myself grow day by day. This is a representation of the human spirit that you are, you are there and ready to fight. It's an embodiment and a representation that anything is possible if you dare to dream and, you know, go for it. So along this journey, I've been blessed to find a great community that is through our team achievers and of course a great coach and an icon in the team as well, Ferdinand Omanyalo. So like we have people who we look up to and this has also allowed me to be myself. They don't look at me like uh, because I have albinism or anything. We are all athletes and we go there to compete, uh, which is a beautiful thing that allows us to just embrace a diversity and also preach inclusivity in, in sports as well. Through my journey and experience, I have realized the beauty of sharing my story to inspire others as well, especially those with albinism and those with disabilities to just know that they can go for whatever they want and give it their all and they'll be able to succeed. That I want them to remember and know that their abilities far outweigh the perceived limitations. Uh, in Kenya, we have very few people with albinism doing track or sports. So I believe that me going this far will also inspire someone else to, you know, be inspired to go in and find that which they have within them and then portray it to the world and showcase it and allow it to, you know, manifest. So today I stand here as a testament to the power of focusing on ability. You see, I've faced a lot of challenges along the way, but the reward has been immense. As a person with albinism, albinism may not define me, but my abilities should do. So as an athlete, I'll continue to put my best foot forward and keep redefining the society's expectations of what certain people should and should not do.